ABC 26 News at 5 on WGNO-TV. They caught our eye, but do they really work to turn back time? Katherine Shreves joins us with tonight's Beauty Breakthroughs. Hey, Jessica. Well, tonight, roll away wrinkles and acne scars with hundreds of needles and a new device that looks straight out of Star Wars promises thicker, fuller hair in the privacy of your own home. So do they really work? A helmet that grows hair? The iGrow is the very first hands-free hair rejuvenation system that's been designed off of office-baked clinical units. iGrow says this $695 device is as easy as plugging in your iPod. 20 minutes twice a week at home. To prevent and treat hair loss using low-level light therapy. You have laser and LED at a specific red light wavelength. And those, those the photons of energy are actually absorbed in the scalp. iGrow says it's not for people who look like this. This is a rejuvenation rejuvenation device. Uh, this will not help you if you're completely shiny bald. So how well does it work? Although iGrow has some fairly impressive before and after pictures, Dr. Nicole Rogers wants to see more independent studies before she gives it the thumbs up and recommends patients first start with treatments like Rogaine. And then if they're still not seeing the results between medications and even hair transplant surgery and they're still looking for other options, then I think the low level light therapy is certainly worth exploring. Another product that caught our eye, the MTS roller. This roller actually has 200 needles embedded in the roller itself. Clinical Resolution Lab says the goal of microneedle therapy injure the skin just enough to induce the body to produce collagen. They say microneedling can help with wrinkles, stretch marks, hyperpigmentation, and acne scars. The longer needles are for professional use only and require numbing cream, which is not the case with the over-the-counter device. If you hit a sensitive spot on your face, it's a little sensitive, but it doesn't hurt. Dr. Patty Ferris says she wants to see more data that shows how well microneedling works to anti-age, but says for acne scars, she's sold. In patients who have deeper acne scars, we know that when you microneedle, the body will build new collagen. It sort of speeds up the wound healing process. So microneedling has been studied in patients with acne scars and has been shown to improve acne scarring. After a few treatments, Sarah, who's hoping to get rid of her acne scars, says she is seeing improvement. It seems to be helping just kind of calm things down a bit and just even stuff out, which is what I'm hoping for. And for more information on tonight's story, just go to WGNO.com slash, slash rather, beauty breakthroughs, Jessica. Thanks, Catherine. Cool stuff. Thanks so much for watching WGNO News at 5. Be sure to visit us at 630. World News with Diane Sawyer is coming up next.